I decided I was gonna take you guys through one of my days. Today is a Saturday. I do the same thing basically every day. So I woke up, questioned my existence, and then proceeded to wash my face, got some air outside, and made some coffee, which is way too hot for me to drink right now. I have to hold it like this. I'm gonna drink this. It's gonna take a while. And then I'm gonna do my makeup, get dressed, you know, because I don't like staying in my pajama all day. I'll take you through that. So I was just studying some Japanese and I watched some videos, I checked my league rank just to see if something magical happened overnight, just kidding. Um, and now I have my video ready to start editing. I also checked some comments, forgot about that, replied to some comments. Now I'm gonna start editing and eventually I'll get ready and I'll go outside, go for a walk. But yeah, for now I'll be on my computer. Hello my friends, it's been a minute. I decided to go live on YouTube, so I was live for like an hour. That was hella fun, it was so much fun. Now I think I'm gonna have some lunch and in the afternoon I'm gonna be smoking my ciggy. I'm so excited for that. I always get super excited to smoke, especially because I only smoke like one cigarette a day, right? So I'm always like looking forward to it. Hell yeah. Currently having my lunch, which is an ironically sausage with mashed potato that I did yesterday. Mm -mm -mm. It's baller. I'm just enjoying my lunch, you know. I've been editing, recording this video, also did a live. The day has been pretty productive, I would say. It's been pretty nice, you know. It's a little bit windy today, which it has been for the past months here in Portugal, to be honest. It's gonna be a really good sunset. I can sense it, excited for that. I'll just be here enjoying my lunch. I really like these simple lunches that you can just eat everything that's on the plate, you don't leave any bones or any anything like skin, you know, you just eat everything. It's pretty good. And I'll see you all when I'm doing something more interesting. Hello, I am sitting on one of my favorite spots. I don't even know how the audio is gonna pick out. That's why I have this big ass microphone, okay? I'm gonna be smoking a ciggy and just enjoying. I don't know, this isn't the best lighting, you know, but I just came to the park and I really wanna smoke, so. It is so windy right now, holy fuck man. When you're smoking outside, okay, remember to put out your cigarette in whatever you can. Oh, I just burnt myself. Cigarette is put out, okay, so now I will put it inside of my pack and take it home with me or until I find a trash can. And you know what? I think I'm gonna be chilling here at the park for a little more. It's very windy, so for vlogging purposes, it isn't the best, but it's very enjoyable, you know? So I'll be here for a little more and I'll see you guys very soon. I am back. 
Oh my god, that was good, but it was so windy. I'm sitting on the floor next to the washing machine, dishwasher, whatever. I just need to breathe because wind makes me like my my brain just goes crazy and is like super fast paced when there's wind, you know, you know. Right now, I'll just be chilling next to the dishwasher for like five minutes, breathing, you know, and then we'll continue on. Det är faktiskt jävligt konstigt. Det är faktiskt en sekund. Det är inte bara 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 en sekund. Then you're driving me home And I don't want to live But I have to go Okay, I swear I was gonna wait for the night time But then I started thinking about having a cigarillo I'm, gonna, I'm only gonna have half, okay? Because I know, I only smoke one time a day But we have to celebrate, okay? I mean, celebrate what exactly? I don't know, life, being alive you know what, I'm gonna have a full one. I don't know if I'm gonna smoke all of it. I have these. I just discovered that this is my new like favorite. I don't like beer, but I really like this one because it tastes like lemon. I don't know how to open it. Hey, look at that. Amazing. Ching ching. And I'm just gonna light my cigarillo. Okay, have a hell of a good time. I'm so excited for this. This beer tastes so good. I don't really like beer, but this one is good, I'm telling you. Let's go. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Oh yeah, I'm outside. It only lit half. Oh my God, it's a catastrophe. Okay, so what a great day it has been. Oh my God, first of all, I'm so glad you are here with me, okay? And we are doing this together. I'm a bit scared that it's gonna be too windy and my microphone is gonna die a little bit while recording this but you know what we gotta take some chances and this is a chance I want to take because just look at the vibe it's so nice I have been actively reducing how much I smoke which is extremely funny because right now I'm smoking my second like smoking experience of the day I never know what to call it because if I smoke a cigarette and then a cigarillo this is not my second cigarette but it's my second time smoking today you know I also took a shower in the meantime I don't know if I remember to say that I'm pretty bad at keeping track of the things that I do and putting them on a video you know like, I don't know if this happens to everyone, but sometimes I take a shower and I forget, I forget that I took a shower. Like, I just don't remember. And I have to think to myself, have I taken a shower today? So I think I was dissociating the whole time I was taking a shower. I was not even there mentally. I was not present, you know. I truly feel like that's something I need to work on. Just be being present during the things that I'm doing at the time that I'm doing them because the only reason why I forget the things that I did is because I was thinking about something else when I was doing that thing that I forgot, you know? Being in the shower is not the most, most fun activity, okay? I personally don't like it. I hate water and the feeling of water, so I hate it. Having to do it once a day, it's annoying, but I still do it. But I feel like to avoid thinking about the sensation of the water, I think about anything else. But that is also how you make your problems extend throughout your whole life. 
So if I just accept it and be like, oh, okay, I don't like the water, but I have to do this. I have to, I have to be clean, you know, and just enjoy the moment, <laughs> however you, you say it, you know. I have, some, I have some trouble enjoying the moment, if I'm going to be honest. Like sometimes the moments that I have to enjoy are not that enjoyable. And I feel like today, I mean, in these days in social media, especially the part that I follow, which is manifestation, law of attraction, it's a lot about being grateful for the moment and enjoying the moment, but it's like some moments are really hard to enjoy. You know, I'm not talking about the shower now, but it's just hard sometimes to enjoy what you are doing. Enjoy the day, enjoy the moment, enjoy the month. And also sometimes it's hard because I truly believe that people that follow the law of attraction will experience extreme su success in their life, you know? And the people that are teaching others about the law of attraction are usually pretty wealthy people, you know, people that are well in life. And sometimes it's hard to take someone like speaking to me in a penthouse with a pool right behind them, a new kitchen telling me, enjoy the moment, enjoy the now. And I'm just thinking, okay, for you, it's probably very easy to enjoy the moment. But I have to recognize that I also have such great things, you know, even if they are not those things, which I don't even want to have a big house or anything. This is my boyfriend's parents' house, okay? I live with my boyfriend and his parents, so this is not my house. So that is why, like, I don't own a property, obviously, because I'm 22 years old living in Portugal, you know? So it's very easy for me to start doubting myself, questioning the future, asking if I'm going to be able to do anything great. And I love listening to podcasts and advice, advice about the law of attraction and being grateful, but sometimes it's just a little bit, I don't know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. When someone like really, really wealthy, you don't know how they got there. They probably worked their way up there or they were just born rich, you know, but sometimes it's just like, ah, oh, shut up. You have everything. It's easy for you to be grateful, but everyone has problems. Even people who have all the material possessions they could want to have. Maybe don't, they don't have friends, they don't have a family, you know, you don't know, like everyone is going through something, good and bad. But yeah, what was that rent even about? I'm just chilling here, you know, I'm having such a great time. This is what I'm talking about. I am not even enjoying the moment right now. I am, I'm thinking about something else, so let's enjoy. Let's enjoy the moment of right now. If I didn't show you, I'm smoking these mood, moods, cigarillos. They're pretty ballin'. It's been a great day, you know? And the sunset, I feel like it's just the best. It wraps up the day in a little orange sky. It's so beautiful. The lighting, like, can you see the buildings behind me? They're like orange from the sky. I cannot see the, the sun myself because it's behind the pillar, but it's hitting those buildings and it's so pretty and orange and I love it. I'm probably gonna make some dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna have. I have a lasagna that is like uh, pre-done. You have to put it in the oven, you know, but it's like already built. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I feel like these days I've just been dissociating the whole day. Like the main reason why I wanted to record this video, to be honest, is because I've been having that feeling of not living the days, you know? I feel like the days have just been going by so fast. I feel like I'm trying to grab them and I can't and one day it's the first of the month and the other day it's already day whatever, 20 something, I don't even know. So I wanted to record this video to see if I could be in the moment while I'm recording the footage. I don't know, but sometimes I'm really great at enjoying the day and the moment of now, but that is so rare. It's definitely an exercise that I need to practice. I'm gonna put this cigarillo out, out and store it in a box. So now I have three half cigarillos in here, I think. Oh, this looks so goofy. Look at this. Look at my box. It is what it is. The reason why I don't smoke the whole of it is because I get nicotine sick. Cigarillos are very strong and they hit me very hard. So I get nicotine sick if I smoke all of it in one go. Maybe I'll smoke the rest of it at night. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But maybe I should be journaling more, you know? When I journal, at least I am thinking about what I'm writing. So if I'm writing about the present moment, I can think about the present moment. But it's such a hard thing for me to do. I don't know why. I feel like my brain is always somewhere else. And it almost feels like it's out of my control to put it back in its place, you know? Back in the now. <sighs> I don't know. This was a little rant, eh? But I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back.
Hello friends. I'm gonna take my makeup off right now because although I only have like a little bit of blush, I don't even know if it hasn't come out yet on itself. I use this. It's the only micellar water I can use because it's hypoallergenic. I hope that's how you say it in English, you know, but basically it doesn't like give me allergies and my eyes are extremely, extremely sensitive to makeup. I don't know if you can tell, but like my eye is red because the other day I was using another micellar water that wasn't hypoallergenic and it made me just it made my eye, so it got in my eye a little bit and it made it red. So it's been red like this for like three days. It's pretty annoying, you know. <sighs> also, the lasagna is in the oven. Very excited about that. I'm gonna eat it in like half an hour. And now I think I'm gonna play a little bit of guitar. So let's go do that. The quality is so bad. But yeah, I don't know. I've been playing guitar really badly for a couple months now i've been trying to learn some things here and there but nothing serious and i just like you know sitting here and playing some chords and just have fun with it you know so i don't know i hope you enjoy I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna try to use this time while the lasagna is in the oven to play a little bit of guitar. I find that it's very easy for me to complete a task if I have a timer. So since I have a timer on the oven for the lasagna, I can play a little bit guitar because I know that in 30 minutes I'll be doing something else so I don't get lost in it. You know, I don't know, it's a bit weird. I once knew how to play K by Cigarettes After Six, so let's try. See, when I say I'm bad, I'm not kidding. Like, I cannot play many things. My face is feeling super dry because I just took the makeup off of it. So I think I'm gonna put on my eye drops a little bit of chapstick and I'm gonna wait for my pizza, I mean lasagna, to be ready and I'll see you at dinner. Hello friends, I've just had dinner and now, before I go to bed, I'm gonna finish the last part of my little cigarillo. I know the lighting is extremely weird. I've been playing around with it for the past like half an hour and nothing really is working. I don't really have the gear to record at night outside, you know, but you know what? I have half a cigarillo left. Let's light it up with a match because we are fancy here. If I can, hello? I don't think I can. Like matches today are not really working with me. Oh my God. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, I never smoke outside. I mean, okay, hello. I never record outside while smoking because I never really can find a place where I feel safe to do it, you know? Because imagine I went outside in the street. I don't know, it's 11, 11.30 p.m. It is 11.47. I can see on my computer that is reflecting on the window. 11.47 p.m. If I just went outside and sat somewhere outside with a ring light pointing at me, recording a video with my phone, someone would just come and snatch it, you know? So, I don't think it would be very safe, to be honest. But hey, what a day has been, huh? Today, was a big day of reflection for me because I've been feeling like my mood has been very aggressive these past days. Like just, I just seem angry about the world, which is such a, an, a little cliche thing to say, oh, I'm angry about the world, whatever. But there are things to be angry about, you know. But there are also so many things to be grateful for and uh, to appreciate, for example, I'm just sitting here smoking a cigarillo now. This is a pretty good cigarillo, although it is very stale. I've had this pack since April. 
because I bought it for my birthday, which is in April, so it's very stale. But it costs 6 euros and 30 cents, so I have to smoke them, unless they are moldy. If they become moldy, never smoke anything that's moldy. That's really bad, because you are inhaling the mold, you know? If you didn't know, now you do. Very dangerous to smoke things that are moldy. Just as it is to eat things that are moldy, you don't do that, right? So you shouldn't smoke moldy things either. So I always check, like I check the cigarillo like this before I light it, to see if it has any green or white particles in it. If it doesn't, I just shoot my shot. I just, I just light it. I've been journaling after dinner and I don't know, I was just realizing how just angry I seem, like the way I, I was writing my emotions, it just felt really angry. Like, oh, I'm angry about this and why doesn't this work like this? And why is my country in the state that it is? And why can I not have a better financial um, state, even if I want to, if I, even if I was working another job, even if I was working two jobs, would I be able to afford living here? No, and then I got angry about that. And then I watched a video on YouTube about a girl that does like deep dives on TikTok trends. This is so dumb, I know, but apparently there's a new trend where it's not a trend, it's like actually a problem where people are taking um, diabetic, uh, like medication that's made for people with diabetes, the type two. It's something that they need to inject to control their sugar level and insulin, you know? And some people on TikTok now have found that if they inject themselves with that, it makes them not be hungry, so they get skinnier, you know? And that is, I was watching that. I was flabbergasted. I was like, how is this, how? And then the, the thing that got me angry is that because of people using that medication to become skinnier, people that actually have diabetes don't have access to the medication anymore because it's getting very expensive for them. Because people that don't have diabetes are using this medication, which is called, ooh, I don't know, it's, it starts with a no, Ole, ole, qual something, something like that, okay? I don't really know the name of it. But because those people that don't have diabetes are using that medication, people who actually need it no longer have access because the prices have gone up so much. And that just got me angry, you know, seeing humans sabotage other humans, where people that have diabetes need that medication. If you want to get skinny, you can exercise and eat healthy, you know, you, you should not be taking something that suppresses your appetite, first of all, because that's very dangerous, and second of all, because you are taking resources from those who really need them, you know. So I just got angry about that, but then I was like, it, it needs to come a point where I just realize, you know, does this affect me? No, I don't need to always be thinking about others, and I feel like sometimes, I think about disasters that are happening around the world, which there are a lot of disasters happening everywhere, all the time, because humans are just self-destructive, you know? But I think so much about things that are not even happening here, you know, are happening in other places, and I get so angry about it. And I think it's very, it's nice for me to care about what's happening in the world, but there has to come a point where I'm, I'm like, this is not affecting me, I don't need to be worrying about this right now, let's worry about the things that are affecting me, you know? So that's what I gathered from my introspection after dinner. Um, yeah, it took me writing for about half an hour and then reading what I wrote and being like, wow, I am angry today. And I've been angry the past days. And uh, today, this is the last night because now I'm feeling better. I understand why I was feeling the way that I was feeling. And now I can fix it, you know. That's why journaling is so good. Everyone should try journaling. Even if it's on your phone, notes app, just write about what you feel and then read it and see what you can do about it, you know. I also like to divide problems by, like, how do I explain this? So just, if I have a problem, I ask myself, can I fix this now? If the answer is no, then my question is, what can I do to fix this? And then if I find an answer, it's like, okay, can I do this now? And then if the answer is no, I, I like divide everything until I find something that I can do now to fix the bigger problem, you know? So, I don't know. It's been a weird ride. This, pa this past week, like, my emotions have been up and down really harshly. It's also hormones, okay? Being a girl, hormones just jump around. Time of the month also takes a part in it. But you know what? I'm feeling better. And I hope 
that you enjoyed spending the day with me, okay? It's been, I don't know, it's been a, a good day. A day full of self-reflection, just thinking about what's going on. And just a day of relaxing and chilling and doing the things that I enjoy the most. So I'm very grateful for this day. And I'm very happy that you chose to watch the video and spend it with me. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye!